Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is a micro puff jig um, and we're doing it in an Arky style. In the vise we have a 1 8 ounce Arky jig with a 1 owner 5313. The color is Barlow's Double Trouble Blue. I absolutely love these colors. I have them all. I have the green, blue, and the white. And yes, they're they're all that and then some. Uh, anyway, I haven't done one of these in a long time. Um, it's something I don't do a lot of. I do like semi-puff jigs uh, to get that bulk, but I don't want it... Um, I don't want it completely puffball because it uses a lot of material. Um, so again, I haven't uh, done one of these in a long time, so bear with me here. So we're going to take some black two tendon air flat wax nylon, and all I'm going to do is just get it started. I don't want a a big base. Yeah, if I could only hold on to it. Okay, we got our little bit of a base started, and that's just to hold our anchor, our thread. And the first thing I'm going to take, this is just a little bit bigger than the jig itself. This is the uh, blue with the uh, black stripe round rubber. I try to get it as centered as best I can and make a wrap and hold it in place and we're going to do the same thing on the other side in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that little bit of a separation in there so I can get this right up against And you got to hold this, otherwise it'll twist on you. Now, this is chrome blue fish scale. This is really nice stuff, but it was discontinued. Uh, so, at least I can't find it anywhere. So, um, a really good one that works just as well. It's in the same ballpark is the crystal blue uh, fish scale. And I'm just taking that. Of course, you see I cut it in half. So we got the one side here with, I uh, put the, the solid piece up top. And I'm going to do the same thing over on my side with the other half. So far, so good. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take two more pieces of this rubber. And go over top. Turn it over. Same thing. Now you can add more uh, silicone if you want. I leave it at what it is. We have enough material in there. And now I'm just going to, as I make my wraps, I'm going to pull. You got it. You want to put enough pressure on it. You get that pulled all the way in, but you do not want to break your thread. And 
and I'm really cranking on this. Now, if I was going to do this and say I didn't want quite as um, dramatic as a puffball, uh, what I would do is I would either A, not cut the groove in, or B, make your skirt longer. So if you make your skirt longer, you don't get that, like a cush ball. You don't get the puff ball type deal. But you get the, sa the still the same type of a uh, profile, if that makes sense. Now, I'm not using any head cement for this because uh, it would it would take forever um, for me to lay it on there just so uh, not getting any on the rubber because if you did that when you go to cut this rubber um, it wouldn't wouldn't be uh, easy let's put it that way it, yeah I'd probably have to separate all of it by hand so now I'm just gonna Do the old stretch and slow cut. See, and even that, I missed some. I apologize. You're going to have to bear with me here. This is the one thing with this, um, with this style of jig and the rubber is trying to get it all cut. Cut that it separates, let's put it that way. Take my silicone too and cut it while I'm here. There's one side, and we'll do the other. I'll be honest with you, I don't use these a whole lot. Um, usually, well, you could see by my channel a lot, um, I'm usually doing the compact uh, compact style of jigs or full-on finesse. Um, These have a little bit bigger profile when I'm usually making them, um, you know, if I'm using like a 3 8 ounce jig, I make a puff ball in it and it's too big of a profile for what I'm looking for. So, Well, I'm sorry about that. The camera should just do it this way and be easier. Let me 
get our silicone gathered up here. As you see, I'm just going around here, some that are still stuck together. That's close enough. We're pretty good there. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my weed guard, which is an FG-12. Just got to get everything out of my way here. A little super glue gel. A little dabble do ya. And my FG-12 weed guard. So far, so good. And now our trailer. And for a trailer, I'm using a black blue. This is the RAID Battle Hog 2.6. Um, I got these when Tackle Warehouse had them, and they no longer carry those, so uh, you would have to go to, like, Lee's Global Tackle or someplace like that um, to find these. And what I did was I took it and I cut not quite a half inch off of there. Just got to make sure I'm in the right side here. And we'll thread it on. I just have to get all the strands out of the way. And there you have it, our micro puff. Arky jig. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.